New era in Boise means more tweeting from Boise. Here's running back Jay Ajayi, afraid of being average, hashtag money season. And wide receiver Shane Williams-Rhodes has this to say, the pass is the pass, you should leave it where it's at. And finally, linebacker Tanner Vallejo with this, trust no one except your teammates. Seems like motivation is high in Boise, Idaho. Hello and welcome to another Spring Spotlight Series. I'm Shay Pepler alongside Doug Chapman and Pete Futek. And guys, you saw the tweets. Boise State players ready to move on from last season. But is it too late? Has Fresno State now become the top dog in the Mountain West Conference? What do you think? Ooh, the tweets. Very scary <laughs> stuff. Motivational posters <laughs> with a kitten hanging out of a tree coming with those. Yeah, well, Fresno State's still the top dog. They won the, the Mountain West Championship last year. Until you knock them off, until Boise State gets to the Mountain West title game, then yeah, it's still Fresno State. However, I do love Boise State this year. They get Ole Miss to start. That game's in Atlanta. If they win that, look out because the rest of the schedule is very manageable. Fresno State, Utah State, San Diego State, and then out of conference BYU all got to come to Boise. This is a very, very dangerous team to watch out for. But until Fresno State loses, I'm still thinking oh, Boise State has a shot. Yeah, Fresno won it last year. High powered offense, quarterbacks, the MVP. So, of course, if you look at it from that standpoint, yes, they are the team to beat. But that was last season, 2014, what have you done for me lately? Boise State will come back much better. I think they're going to be the team to beat. Fresno State is on paper, but when they actually take the field in 2014, it'll be Boise. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that defense that you know Fresno State's got to rise up a little bit. The offense has got to reload. I think it's Boise State, too. All right. Boise State lost five games last year for the first time since 1998, which is unbelievable to me. Okay, looking at the Mountain West as a whole now, guys, can you give me some surprise teams that you think might sneak up on some people? What do you think, Doug? It may not be a surprise because they were in the championship game playing Fresno last year, but Utah State, you get Chucky Keaton back. 100% healthy. To me, he's one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in college football. He plays out way out in Logan, Utah. You may not ever heard of him, but if you watch a game, you'll gain respect for him. They lose six starters on defense. That's where they're going to have a problem. They're going to have to find a way to stop somebody. Can't score 65 points and let everybody else score 60 every game. If they can stop somebody on defense, be consistent, I think the Utah State will be the team to watch out for. Well, get, get Doug Chapman you. off that limb. They're going crazy <laughs> with the team that went to the Mountain West title game last year. Pick a New Mexico. Go with Hawaii. I like Hawaii. Chucky too much. Hey, All right, I'm not going to go too crazy either, but Colorado State, even though they lose a ton of talent, they've got to reload the offensive line. They lose Capri Bibbs. they got to get more of that passing game. But I like what Jim McElwain is doing. He's getting some good talent there. He did a nice job there last season. I don't know if they've got enough in the bag to win the Mountain West title, but they're certainly going to be a thorn in a lot of teams' sides. And they don't have to play Alabama this no year. No Alabama. That helps. <laughs> no yes. Alabama on their schedule. All right, Doug and Pete, thank you very much. And for more around Boise State and our spring series, be sure to keep checking CampusInsiders.com. We've got an exclusive interview with running back Jay Ajayi, and you can only find it on CampusInsiders.com. Money season.